Hello, this is Matteo with the word lift functionality that everybody should already use and just in case you're not using it yet, I want to explain it to you. But first, a product update. We just released version 3.30.1. What's new? Well, something major. We are supporting Classic Press. Classic Press is a, a fork of WordPress that is not using the Gutenberg block editor, but rather using the Classic Editor. Now let's see WordLift at work in this uh, familiar Classic Editor environment in Classic Press. If I activate the WordLift widget, it will proceed as normal with the analysis and I will be able to uh, tag my latest content, schema markup for WooCommerce, with everything that is relevant to this article. And once I have done that, I just want to tag SEO, right? Oh, and rich snippets, why not? And uh, I can hit publish, uh, in this case, update. And I can see all of these uh, new uh, entries already in the front end. So for instance, SEO links to the vocabulary entry for SEO that has been created automatically. So this is possible. All of the functionalities from, from WordLift are implemented in Classic Press. But I also wanted to show you something that everybody should do uh, in case they have a page about someone. For instance, I've created this page about the author. And if I scroll down to the entity types, it's actually um, an empty page for, for right now. If I scroll down to the entity types, I can set this as a person. Now, what I need to do is I need to hit Save Draft and then all of the special properties of the person schema type are going to appear. The people I know, the birth date, the birthplace, the affiliation, the email, the website, and also the same as where you can add all of your social profiles. So this was just a quick update from WordLift. Be sure to upgrade to version 3.30.1 and I'll see you soon with some new updates. Thank you so much for watching.